in honor of the 25th anniversary of Beast Wars, uh, I'm going through all of the Beast, for, Beast Wars figures I have and the Kingdom figures that are related to Beast Wars figures that I have. And uh, so we're going to take a look at Rat Trap. Uh, he is a core class, which is the new Legends class. They're all tiny, so as an example, I have the little, the little green one too. I'm not going to do these as part of the Kingdom stuff because they're just not really... And they weren't even in the show. Um, so here you go. Here's a little core class rat trap. You take a look at him. Let's see, get him real close. If you look, you can see he's got little Autobots or little Maximal symbols. Sorry, uh, right there on the forearms. Awesome detail in the face. His little exposed brain, which I never understood why they did that. Um, these do use 3mm ports instead of 5mm ports, so your weapons won't work unless you have modified ones. Just to be aware of that, uh, you just still keep his rat feet. Yeah, great articulation in him. He has weird shoulders, so these kind of go up and down. Sorry, these go up and down as far as transformation, so you want to keep them like that, but... It gives him weird movement, but it works. Uh, you have no wrist articulation. The head moves. Legs. Have like a double knee because of transformation again. Um, oh, they, he can dance if he wants to. He can leave his friends behind. Almost everything is ball joints. By the way, like the foot's on a ball joint, the knee's on a ball joint, the knee's on two ball joints. Thighs are on a ball joint. You do get a backpack full of kibble that looks like uh, somebody's science experiment and they were dissecting a rat and they just threw it on there. Actually kind of gross, especially with the shine that it has to it. It looks kind of wet, but whatever. Okay, let me see the rat head. You got a nice little gun. Let me... Just to focus, these are very tiny. Yeah, a cool little gun. Simple but cool, which I know all about that. I'm simple but cool. Sorry. So there we go. There is Core Class Kingdom Rat Trap in robot mode. So I'm going to try to do this. On camera because he's tiny so transformation take out the gun step one grab this piece it like locks in there so you have to pull that back flip that up rotate the arms around and down like this ah so I'll do it on this side so you can see it again so you flip these down rotate the shoulder so that it goes into this tab right, right here, right here. There we go. Like that. Now you flip the head around. And pull his rat head out. Yeah. Pull the backpack is on this joint right here. Pull that down. Then you want to, it doesn't, it looks like it should sit flat on each other, it doesn't. Do that. And you can come in here and collapse these side pieces. You can leave his arm, no, flip his arms around so that the fists are pointing down. That will let this tab, he, this, no oh man, sorry, this tab here go into this forearm. Once it's lined up like this. And there's the tricky part is you gotta finagle the legs. Can you see how that show how that elbow just kind of goes crazy? You turn it like this. Peg the Alright, sorry for the break there. Uh, my phone went off. So you see how this tabs into here, this tabs into there. And then you finagle 
the knee around, rotate this so that it will sit. And there's a little notch right there that goes into here. Sit right there. Turn the feet forward. Fix it. A little bit of cleanup. Fix it. And there you go. And if you really want to, I don't know why you would want to, you can take the gun, and the gun only really plugs into one place. Uh, I guess... No. No. Uh, no. There we go. Plugs into the back leg. That looks kind of stupid. But there you go. There's... Rat mode. No articulation. Uh, except for the back feet. It's, so it's about as uh, articulated as Rhinox. And still a thousand times better. Let me get a little close up. He's a little tiny dude, so... You don't see nearly as much robot as you think you would for as tiny as he is. You see his hands sticking out the back. I don't have him picked in the way, I think. Um, hey, little rat. If anybody has a phobia, there you go. I like the detail along the tail. Uh, I wish they had painted that. Uh, it should actually be pink. Or at least lighter, generally. Uh, he's got a little bit of pink on his feet. He's got the little pink in his ears. The whites of his eyes. Little pink dot on his nose. So there he is in rat mode. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's do some comparisons. Uh, let's compare him to his oh so best friend, Cheetor. And let's see. His, his not so best friend and kind of more bromance. Dinobot. Their fearless leader. Ah! Optimus Primal. And let me look and see over here who needs to also be added to. Oh, God damn it, not again. Interrupting dinosaur. Oh, come on. Really, dude? Oh, don't mind him. He's just mad that I won't review his toy. So there you go. There's some comparisons. Um, and here's Walgreens Earthrise Red Alert. Earthrise Kingdom? I can't remember now. It's the Walgreens Red Alert. That's how he scales. So he scales, I think, appropriately to everybody here, but he's a core class. But if you look at some of the other new core classes like Soundwave and Optimus Prime, which I should have grabbed and I didn't bring in here, um, he's the same size as them, so scale goes out the window. But as far as if you were to just put all of these as a uh, Beast Wars shelf like I'm going to do, they all scale pretty well. Uh, this is not the one that comes in the two-pack with him. These were bought separate. I don't really need two of each of these. And I didn't see enough difference to bother. So there you go. There is... War for Cyber... Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And thanks for watching. Later.